Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. Uh, if you've been around for a while, thank you for uh, watching this again. So this is going to be a departure, a little different from our, my previous videos of me uh, milling on the Frontier OS 27. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I sharpen my bandsaw blades using everything I have here. And I did build this myself out of just scrap parts. I only purchased a few items and I'll put a description or a link in the description of this video of the items I have and the ones I purchased, uh, where I got them, so on and so forth. So stick around and let's show you. Let's get a blade loaded up and we'll go. Okay, the first thing we got to do, just get the blade loaded up. And once it's loaded, I'll go through all the parts I have here and talk about each one and what they all do. Make sure you're wearing leather gloves. These things will bite you. Okay, so first I'll just have you take a look. Okay, so what I have is I have a Foley chainsaw sharpener. And that's, I have three chainsaw sharpeners, so that's an extra one. Um, but it's simple to use. It has a big hand knob in the back, bolted to two angle iron, or two angle plates here. I set the angle on the Foley. I have one of those electronic, sorry about the shakiness. One of those electronic, uh, I guess it'd be a protractor. Okay. So then I have, this is the push arm. This is just, uh, I believe it's quarter inch thread, threaded rod with a turnbuckle on a 1992 Chevy pickup truck. Wiper motor is where I put the cam. So you have to build the cam yourself, and that's really simple. I actually have a roughed out cam here in case I ever destroy that cam somehow. In this box, I have a pulse width modulation control unit, and I'll put a link to that. And that will control the speed, and I'll demonstrate all that of the wiper motor. Here I have these push-pull. These I'm sorry about the movement again. These This push-pull. So I'd, I'd lock the blade in, and you can understand, you can see how I would set it. i get it dialed in. I'm not going to set this blade because I've already set this blade last time I sharpened it. I have these little ceramic bearings, I believe they are. I got them for 50 cents a piece, and those just keep the thing from tracking, or keep it tracking correctly. This switch here... Shuts it all off when everything's... All right, before we uh, get sharpening here, I'm going to just show you how it all works. I, again, inside here was the 12 volt, 120 to 12 volt DC converter and a pulse width modulation control unit. To turn it on, just turn the knob and we're going to turn that. And that's going to start this cam moving. And as you'll see, it's going to start pushing the blade. And I can speed it up. Or I can slow it down. Now that cam is cut in such a manner that it will follow the groove or the gullet of the blade. If I have 
the folion, the sharpener, as it goes all the way around, I have a kill switch and it will automatically trip it. So it'd be, here's the, it's just the magnet that goes by and when it gets all the way around, it will shut everything off. And I'm done. So let's get going on this and show you how this works. Let's speed that up a little bit. Like I said, I can speed this up. I usually run it in the 30s. Let's see where we're at. That's a nice speed. Now, as I keep sharpening, some of them are following the gullet and rubbing the gullet out pretty good. This is a newer blade, so I haven't sharpened this but once or twice. And the set, like I said on this one, was either, I think this one was a good set still on it. So, there it is in operation. If you have any questions or comments, or better ideas, a way to improve this, let me know please. You do have problems sometimes if you got a broken tooth, or a couple of these blades I, I got here were not cut properly, meaning there was a few teeth that were cut. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, and have a great day.